Hey, what's up YouTube? Today, I'll be showing you guys the aftermarket landing gear or landing skid for your Phantom 2. This is perfect for the H3 3D gimbal. It's more wider than the stock one and much taller as you can see from there. So here is the stock landing gear. So that is the length difference. Okay, so the first thing you want to do before installing the landing gear is make sure you mark the compass so that once we install the aftermarket landing gear we will know how far of a distance it should be placed on the new landing gear. So just grab a pencil, mark it, okay, just along the side and uh, we could just measure that after once we install the new landing gear and place it exactly the same position as the stock one. Alright, so the next step you want to do is remove the campus. You got small tiny screws there, so just unscrew them all. Alright, so the next step is you want to remove the screws that's holding the landing gear. So once that's unscrewed, just take it off like so okay now we could measure the stock landing gear so it's five inch wide the height is almost five inch long and the weight is 20 grams okay so the width is five inch wide the length is six and a half inch long so the weight is 27 grams all right, so the next step is to place the compass mount. Remember in the beginning, I told you guys to trace the compass. So now you can take out the frame and you got a marking there where you trace the compass. Okay, so now just line this up and place it like that, okay? So grab your tape measurement and just measure the distance all right so it's uh, pretty much about there all right so next step is to slide your compass cable right through the hole and your antenna so there you go guys one side is installed. Okay, so on this side, as you can see, the hole is too small to get it through the hole of the landing gear. So what you have to do is open up your Phantom Okay, and pull out the connection, your camera connection, pull that out, and then you could slide it through that tiny hole. Pull this down, okay, so just slide them right through the small hole, and now this one, all you have to do is just bend it sideway so that it will fit right through the hole okay so there you go guys okay so now we'll slide the wires all right so all you have to do is just slide it through the phantom hook it up and uh, you should be good to go. All right, guys. So I got it installed, both side. Okay. So there you go, guys. I got it finally installed. And here's what it looks like.
Okay, so now let's test out the new landing gear. If it fits on the Phantom carrying case backpack. Let's open this up. Let's place the Phantom. As you can see, we have a wider landing gear. So it doesn't fit anymore. So the best solution would be place the Phantom right in the middle over here. Like this. Okay. So that's the best solution to fit your Phantom. As you can see, the Phantom is more higher now. So we can't place it exactly where the cutout is. So as you can see, the Phantom is much higher now. So it's not flesh on the bag. Let's close it up. Okay, so there you are guys. You could see the motor. You could see a little bit of dent over here. The motor is sticking out. As you can see from there and up here. So there you go guys. Okay.